At the start of the movie, we see a guy named Renton who wakes up at 6.16 a.m. and finds Hannah sleeping beside him. Suddenly, some men enter his room and drag him out of his bed. He tries to escape, but falls down the stairs and dies. The scene repeats again where Renton wakes up and time is 6.16 a.m. The same men enter his room and drag him out of his bed. This time Renton does not try to escape, and the men take him to the basement and tie him to a chair. They also bring in Hannah and tie her up also. The leader of the group introduces himself as father, identifying the others as Sonny and brother. He tells Renton to give him the scripts. One of their men named Cuz died because of electrocution after touching a machine. He tells Renton that they're going outside to eat some food and will come back in five minutes, and if he doesn't hand over the scripts, then he will kill Hannah. We come to know scripts are like money in this world. Renton takes this opportunity to get out of chair and also frees Hannah. He tells her these people want something more also other than the scripts. He checks on the dead person and stops Hannah from touching the machine. He tells her that they are here to steal this machine which is called Ark. He tells her he had built this machine at Taurus and stole it from there when they tried to capture him. These people in the house work for Block Organization and have come to steal it. We come to know that in this world there is food shortage and Taurus is a military organization who controls the world. Block is a rebel group who is trying to fight Taurus. Renton tells he should not have called Hannah at night to come to his place and believes these people followed her here. Renton takes out a glove weapon to kill the men and tells Hannah to wait in the basement. He attacks them but gets killed in the process and wakes up again. The scene repeats where he is taken to basement and tied to a chair. He breaks free from the chair and tells Hannah that the day is repeating again. Based on his memories, he says that this has already happened twice before and asks her whether she also remembers. Hannah doesn't believe him. Renton checks the computer and tells her that the air cue is causing a time loop and repeating the day. He even tells her the people in their house look and their names. She asks him how come only he remembers the past and not these men and Hannah herself. He says he doesn't know about this but asks her to trust him. They escape the basement and go to a different room. Renton tells Hannah that he is going upstairs to distract these people and she should use the cyanide gas to kill them off. He wears a gas mask and goes upstairs to adjust the house temperature. When one of the men comes after him, Renton hides himself in the room waits for the gas to kill them off. When he comes outside to check on them, he finds them alive and they have captured Hannah. They ask Renton to hand over the scripts. He opens the safe and they take all his money and scripts. When father is about to shoot Renton, Hannah stops him and we come to know that Hannah is also working with them. Renton is shocked to know this. She tells them that they have got what they came here for and they should leave now. Sonny believes that Trenton is still working for Taurus and could be a danger so he kills him. The day repeats and they are once again they are tied in the basement. Renton now knows about Hannah and asks her what happened to her after he left Taurus. She tells him they tortured her and took all her money and property. Renton finds a video on the computer and feels confused on seeing it. Hannah tells him that they tortured her for six months and she felt betrayed when Renton left her. We come to know Renton and Hannah used to work at Taurus together and were a couple. Renton tells her he kept looking for her but couldn't find her. They escape the basement and go to a different room. Renton tells Hannah that he knows that she's working for the block. Hannah is surprised to hear this and asks him how does he know this. He tells her that she has also come here to steal his machine arc, same like Taurus. They also want to use the machine to get an advantage in the war. Hannah tells him that they are not interested in his machine and just want the scripts. She shows him how badly she was tortured, and she had no choice but to join Block to stop Taurus. Renton feels sad on knowing about this. Hannah tells him not to kill these men, and Renton agrees. They capture these men and tie them up in the basement. Renton tells Hannah that he will give her half of scripts if she agrees to leave everything and come with him. Renton is angry on them for killing him in the past and starts hitting them. Hannah stops him and tells him she won't be able to go with him. She tells him that she needs to fight this war. Renton tells her that they cannot fight against a big organization like Taurus and refuses her to give the scripts. Hannah says that she will destroy the machine unless he gives the scripts to her so Renton agrees. He tries to take the gun from her and gets killed. 
The day repeats, but this time Hannah is also able to remember what had happened. She is scared of learning about this. Renton tells her that based on the computer time log, the time loop starts at 6.11 a.m. and goes up to 9.25 a.m. The time loops lasts for 3 hours, 14 minutes, and then repeats itself. He says the arc is causing this loop, and this has happened already five times before. He tells that the arc is producing unlimited energy, and this may be the cause of time loop. He asks Hannah what she remembers after she shot him. She says she fired the gun accidentally, and then someone shot her also. She tells him that they should destroy the machine. Renton says that this would cause the time loop to end, and they will not be able to come back if they die. Hannah believes that with the help of Ark they can win the war, but Renton doesn't believe in giving her the machine. Hannah tells Renton to cooperate with him and ties him back to the chair. She calls in her men and tells them that she knows where the scripts are. They find the scripts, but Sonny says that they need to kill Renton since he has already seen their faces. Hannah does not agree to this. Sonny suddenly kills her and all his colleagues. He then calls for backup, and we come to know that Sonny was working as an undercover agent for Taurus and Block. He asks Renton for the password for computer, but Renton refuses to give him so Sonny shoots Renton. The day repeats and Renton tells Hannah about Sonny working for Taurus. When Father and his men come in the room to capture Renton, she tells Father to give her five minutes alone with Renton. Renton says she will not let Hannah take the machine. Hannah says they should tell Father about Sonny and get his help to stop him, and Renton agrees to this. Hannah calls her men into the basement, but when they arrive they see Renton is missing. She tells them Renton knows about their plans and has escaped from there. She tells Sonny and brother to look for him in the house. When Father and Hannah are alone, she tells him about Sonny's identity and also about the time machine. When brother is searching for Renton, Sonny takes this opportunity and kills him. Hannah tells father the machine started time loop at 6, 11 a.m. when one of their men cuz touched it. She tells him that they need to stop Sonny from taking this machine back to Taurus. Sonny comes back and tells them that Renton has killed brother. Hannah doesn't believe him so Sonny kills father. When he is about to kill Hannah, Renton attacks Sonny and kills him with his electric glove. Renton feels the machine is spinning faster than before. Suddenly someone shoots Renton, we see that brother is still alive, and he killed Renton believing that he tried to kill him. The day repeats and Renton and Hannah wake up, they hear a gun shot downstairs and go to check it. They see Sonny has killed father and brother. They come to know Sonny is also now remembering the time loops like them. Renton checks the time log in the computer and comes to know that the time loop is still running. He believes that because of the electromagnetic pulses of the machine, everyone's in the loop start remembering about the loop sooner or later. He says they need to find Sonny before he calls for backup. Hannah tells Renton that they should give this machine to Block since they can use this time loop ability to win the war. Renton says that he does not trust Taurus or the Block since this power can be misused in wrong hands. Hannah asks him to trust her. He says that he's going out to look for Sonny and if he gets killed first, she should destroy the machine by using the code sky and which would melt all its circuit boards. When Renton goes to look for Sonny, he sees that the time is moving very fast. Hannah tries to cover the bodies with plastic. Renton finds a body, but it is not of Sonny. Sonny has tricked them by lying on the floor and acting as a dead body. Renton on realizing this rushes back to save Hannah only to find her being held captive by Sonny. Sonny calls for backup and asks Renton for the password for the machine. Renton says he will enter the password, but takes his opportunity to touch the machine and die. The day repeats and they wake up again. They wait for the men to come in the room, but nobody comes in. They decide to go downstairs and find that Sonny has saved Cuz from touching the machine. Sonny then kills father and brother, and we come to know that Cuz is also working with Sonny and Taurus. Renton locks them in the basement and goes downstairs to release cyanide gas to kill them off. Hannah sees that the time is moving fast. Renton tells her that as the machine spins faster, time also moves faster. When they return to the basement, they find Sonny has killed Cuz and shot himself believing that the day will restart. Renton decides to destroy the machine, but Hannah tells him to take it to Block. Renton believes that Taurus is quite powerful and Block won't be able to stop them. They start arguing and in frustration Hannah throws something at the glass board which breaks it. 
Renton suddenly remembers something and shows her the video he saw before. She doesn't remember recording this video, but notices that the crack in the glass board is different from their glass board. Renton sees that the backup has arrived in the video and tells Hannah to gather all the data. Hannah notices something in father's mouth and goes to take it, but she gets electrocuted and dies. Renton cannot believe this and decides to reset the time loop to save her. The day repeats and Renton decides to help Hannah. When father and brother come in the room, they tell them everything about Sonny and ask them for their help. Father says he had a deja vu when Sonny shot him and agrees to help them. When they go to look for Sonny, Sonny captures them and brings them to the basement. He tortures Hannah and asks Renton to give him the password. Renton tells him the password and Sonny disables the machine. Sonny asks Hannah to touch the machine to be sure and when she touches it, nothing happens. Sonny asks why the machine is still spinning. Renton tells him there is a manual shutdown needed. Renton turns off a switch which causes blackout. Sonny kills father and brother. Taking this opportunity, Renton and Hannah escape from the basement. They go outside the house where we come to know that the air quality is very low. They also find a boundary around the house from which they come to know that the time loop only extends till the boundary. Renton asks Hannah to go from there, but she refuses to do so and tells him that she will help him stop Sonny. She says that the machine has been shut down and if Renton gets killed now he won't come back. They go back inside and find Cuz, they capture him and kill him. They come to know that Sonny has restarted the machine to create time loop again. They go to the basement to stop Sonny. Hannah fires the gun and it hits the glass board. She notices that the crack is same as the video. Renton pushes Sonny in the machine and kills him. Renton tells Hannah to take the machine with her to block. He notices an interruption in the time log after the ninth loop and he comes to know that every time loop has a sequence of nine loops and then the sequence repeats again. They come to know that they have been in the sequence for thousands of times. Whenever someone shuts down the machine it causes interruption and their memory to reset after this the new loop begins. The video was a message to warn them about the loop, but Taurus didn't let them record it properly. They notice that backup has come to stop them, so Renton decides to leave a video message for himself when he wakes up. He believes that they should keep trying until they succeed. He starts recording the video message and Taurus's robots come in to stop them. This time Renton is able to record the entire message before being killed. The time loop restarts and the day repeats, but this time Hannah wakes up first instead of Renton.